Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> Subscribe to like, share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three, like, leave a comment. Subscribe for subscribe. Our lesson for today is how to add monomial by a monomial. This is for quarter two, week four, and this is your teacher, Marife Adonis. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing by Walt Disney. Okay, so we have operations on monomials. A monomial is a term which is either a number, a variable, a product, a quotient, of a number and one or more variables. A monomial, therefore, is an algebraic expression that can be written in the form of a number like two, one third, or negative seven, a variable such as x, y, a, b, and m, a product, a quotient of a number, a product and a quotient of a number, and then a variable like 2a for x, 1 for y. A product of two or more variables such as a, b, x, y, m, p, m, and Okay, so we have now addition of monomials. How are monomials added? So let us study the following examples. So, for number 1, we have positive 3x plus 9x is equals to, okay, so we add the whole number, which is 3 plus 9, which is 12, and then copy the variable. So, that's why we get 12x, okay? Then, number 2, we have negative 5x plus negative 10x. Of course, we combine both the negative 5 and the negative 10. That's why we get negative 15 and copy the x. So that's why we have negative 15x. Okay, next, number 3, we have negative 6x plus 8x is equals to, here all we need to do is negative 6 plus 8, we subtract. So if the sign are different, subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. That's why 8 minus 6 is 2. So since um, 8 is larger than negative 6, so we copy the sign of 8, which is positive. So it's 2x. So kahit wala yung sign, no? So it, it is um, considered as positive. Okay. Next, we have 7x minus 19x is equals to, so here, 7 minus 19. Because um, though walang sign ito, we, we take it positive. positive talaga yan. So we have negative 7 minus 19 is a negative 12. Then subtract and copy the sign of the larger number, which is a negative. So that's why we get negative 12x. Right, next. We have here. So notice that in the preceding examples, all of the monomials have similar terms. These are the terms whose literal coefficients are the same. From the preceding examples, in order to combine monomials, add or subtract only the numerical coefficients. Okay, so 
what we did is we just add or subtract the numerical coefficients of the similar terms then affects the literal coefficient. So that means we just copy. Huh? Okay. So when an expression with any parenthesis or any sign of grouping is preceded by a negative sign, remove the parenthesis but change the sign of every term inside the parenthesis. So if preceded by a positive sign, the signs of the terms are unchanged. Okay? Now, let us consider the following examples. Okay, so we have here 5a plus, uh, we have the parenthesis a plus 3. So 5a, we copy and then we put out the a, and then 3, then combine 6a plus, uh, it is considered as meron invisible 1 gen, so we have 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, so that's why we got um, 6a plus 3. Okay, next we have, okay, so negative 7x plus quantity 3x minus 4 plus 8, so we have negative 7x, so we cap it here, and then break out, then we have uh, 3x, so positive times negative, that's well ne negative, and then plus 8, so negative 7 plus 3, no, so uh, it's like uh, subtracting negative 7 minus 3, no, so that's why we get negative 4x, no, negative 4x plus uh, 8 minus 4, so we have 8. So we got here negative 4 plus 4. Okay, next we have 3x minus um, uh, quantity x plus 1. So uh, extract, no? 3x, and then we have negative 6. Because negative times positive is equal to negative, and so that's why neg minus 1. So negative, positive, negative 1. And then combine 3, 3 minus 1, so we have 2, and then copy negative 1, that's why we have 2x minus 1. Okay, so we have 4x minus, okay, so we extract with the quantity 7x minus 8, so we have 7, 3x minus 7x plus 8. So we have 7 minus 3, or that will become negative 4x plus Eight. So, kung wala kang i-combine dito sa whole number, just copy. Right? Next, let's have sim let us simplify this. Okay, so, we have here 7x. Okay, so, 7 plus 3, that is 10x. Okay. All you have to do is combine muna yung parehong positive ba yan, or parehong negative, and then copy 9x. So, we could say that 10... Minus 9, okay. Yeah, okay. And then we have 1x or the answer is simply x. Okay, you may write 1, but basically, hindi na kailangan maglagay ng 1. Next. So, we have here negative. So, since pareho sila negative, all you have to do is to combine. So, negative 8, uh, negative 8 minus 6 minus 4 y so we have okay what is the result so we have negative 18 y okay that's it next all right here we combine first the 16 and 28 so 16 plus 28, 6 plus 8 is equal to 14, so we get 44, so 44 minus 14 xy, no? so since we have the xy as a variable, so mm, I don't know, 44 minus, um, 44 minus 14. So, 44 minus 14. So, 4 minus 4 is 0. 
4 minus 1 is 3, so we have 30xy as our sum, okay? Next. Okay, so we have here, no? So, um, as you can see, we have negative 4x. So, we can combine this both, no? So, we have negative 4 so, negative times negative is negative 3. Negative times negative is positive. So, plus 9 uh, x cubed. That's why we got negative 7 plus 9 x cubed. So, we got negative uh, no, no, positive because uh, the um, 9 is higher than negative 7. So, um, we have neg positive. So, your answer is positive 2x cubed. So, no need also to write the positive as long as what's Para lang, ano, para lang alam nyo na positive sagot, you, you can also write the positive. Okay, next, we have here, okay, so 2 fifth x minus 3 x, 3 ten x plus, or oh, oh, minus 1 half x plus um, negative 12 x. So, paano natin gagawin yan? So, combine mo natin lahat ng uh, fraction. No? So, we have 2 fifth minus 3 at 10 minus 1 half okay so here let's get first the um, LCD no the LCD of 5 10 and 2 is 10 so 10 divided by 5 is 2 times to 4 10 divided by 10 is 1 times 3 is equals to 3 so minus 3 na and then 10 divided by 5, uh, 2 is 5 times 1 is negative 5. So our answer, uh, 8, no? So 4, positive 4, minus 8. So we have negative 4 over 10x, okay? Negative 4 over 10x minus, okay, minus 1, 2x. How is that? Okay, so since the denominator of this is 1 also, so the final answer is 10, no? So we got negative 4x. 10 divided by 1 is 10 times 2, 20. So we have negative 20x. So we have negative 24 x over 10 or so um, that is 2 and 2 fifth okay 2 and 2 negative 2 and 2 fifth kung ano nangyari dyan bakit nangyari doon so kasi nga uh, 2 2 uh, 24 divided by 10 is 2 and then yung remainder nya is 4 no so, yung 4, uh, divide natin sa 2, and yung kayong 10 divided by 2 is 5. So, we got negative 2 and 2 fifth. <clears throat> okay. For questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. So, remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I go, please... <laughs>